everyone. I feel like I always start my videos now walking down the stairs. It's like I go up to get my camera and then I turn on the camera as I'm walking down the stairs. But today, what are you doing back there? Can we not play with the blinds, please? Elena, are you pooping? No. Are you sure? Because if you want, if you need to poop, you can go in the potty. Remember you get a sucker? No. Okay. Do you want to go run some errands? No, go out there. You want to go outside? Yeah. You're such a staticky hair girl. Your ponytail's really crooked today too. Does Zappa always get on the table? Yeah, me and the table. What? And table. Yeah, we don't want to climb on there though, because it could fall down and you can get hurt, huh? We don't be so in it. Hmm? Don't go outside. Yeah. Okay, let's put on a coat and shoes, okay? Because we can't go out there without a coat on. Oh my gosh, so look at this box from a subscriber. I don't even know who gave this to us. It's like huge. Isn't that crazy? I am so excited to open this box. Um, I have a feeling it's a stuffed animal because it's pretty light, but it is so big and I'm like really excited. So hopefully we can do a, uh, a subscriber mail soon. Where did I put your sparkle shoes? Oh, there they are. Okay. Yogurt. 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 Right here. Oh, are you gonna pet her? Give her a big hug. You wanna put your coat on? Go outside. Mommy, go outside my golf cart. Okay, let's put your sparkle shoes on. These are your new sparkle shoes. So fun. I need to get my shoes on. Let's wear my Minnetonkas today. Because they are the only ones I have downstairs. I love these boots though. They're so cute. Ugh, I kind of want to get a pair of cognac ones. Don't you think cognac Minnetonkas would be super cute? Oh, wouldn't these be cute on Elena? Oh, Bucky, we should get you some boots like mommy's. Do you want some? Look at Euchre's out there exploring. Are you exploring Euchre's? Bucky hasn't gotten to spend too much time outside yet. Exploring our backyard because it's been too cold. We find a little bench. Hmm? No bench. You don't fall down, there's a little grade. It's pretty steep. Abba, drop it. Oh, wow. So I'm having cat anxiety. Oh. So Yuki just jumped over the fence, which is common for her. I mean, she used to do that in our old house all the time. She'd explore all over the place. But for the first time jumping over the fence, I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. I'm kind of nervous right now. And I remember when I first got her and we started putting her outside, I was really nervous about it. And she kept jumping over the fence and I was like, oh my God, she's gonna run away. But, um, I don't know, I'm just nervous. And see, what I'm nervous about too is that fence is um, high. So can she jump back over? I don't know if she can. Cause it's like higher. Do you see how the houses are like low over there? She'll be back. Yuki's smart. Yuki's smart, oh, ow. Oh, she's tripping over everything. Treaty? There she comes. She was just sitting on the other side of the fence. Aww, I knew you'd come back. Come here. Gotta give her some treats when she comes back. Huh. Not that you wouldn't come back anyways, because you like it here. All right guys, so I wanted to tell you this quick story because I think it's so funny, but I have a tip for you guys, a mom tip. This is definitely no beauty guru tip because I wouldn't consider it to be like trendy or anything like that, but um, my dad, he's so funny, like, I think a lot of dads are like this, but he's a super practical guy, like, he's one of those guys, one of those men that wants everything to be practical, and whether it be, like, you know, tying something to this so it stays on the car better, or packing a box meticulously so it's all put in there perfectly, like, everything is practical for my dad, you know what I mean? So when I was at his house, or at my parents' house the other day, my dad, he had to move my car, so he's like, where's your keys? So he got my keys out and he went and moved my car and then next thing I know he's like, Kara, 
so I put your keys on a carabiner and I put the carabiner on your purse and I was like okay you know I don't know if they'll stay there but okay you know whatever and because he did it to be helpful and practical and stuff like that so now I have my keys carabinered to my purse because he thought it would be a good idea but to be honest like I freaking love it I love my keys carabinered to my purse and it's totally corny and it's totally dorky but I swear I lose my keys all the time like every time I go to open the door when I go home I can't find my keys in my purse and it makes me so mad and I have to like set everything down and dig in my purse and it's so nice just having my keys like right on the outside of my purse so I can just unlock the door you know and I'm totally keeping my keys carabinered to my purse like a total mom but I'm telling you moms it's the way to go because it makes life so much easier so if you guys go to a store buy a carabiner so you can put it on your purse my dad's tip for you Okay, so me and Travis were just trying to decide how to do Elmo's voice because he said he should call my phone and do Elmo's voice and this is the voice he came up with. I keep sounding like Mickey Mouse. Hi, Elena. <laughs> that is totally Mickey Mouse. Yeah. It's because your voice well, is low. I, I'd have to listen to Elmo and try and figure out. Hi. It's very like squeaky. Hi, Elena. Hi. But another thing we were talking about just a few minutes ago is I go, and it, it could be something completely unrelated, but like I was getting groceries out of the back of the car and uh, the handles ripped off one of the grocery bags, plastic bags, and the stuff went on the thing. And I swear I almost punched the back window out of our car. <laughs> and I was saying, I swear my, my temper has gotten worse as I've gotten older. Like, I know. Uh, I mean, I'll just be sitting there and have to like not do something really bad. <laughs> Did you see what the last, what yesterday's video was called? Man rage? Because really? you were like getting so mad at your shelf. Yeah, well. Uh, and and then, I'm like, don't day, turn into like one of those old grumpy old men. Like I won't, but. That get mad at everything. I don't know why my temper's worse than it used to be. I, I used to always be, I think it's kids. I think you're right. Kara thinks it's kids. It makes you get, have a shorter temper. Yeah, my patience is a lot. I don't have as good of patience as I did before we had kids. And it's just like, a, it never used to be such a snap. Yeah, well, I bet like, you too. Like if you guys comment below if you have kids and you realized that too after you had kids. Because uh, I was Your thinking, patience wears thinner. My first answer was that I'm getting older and maybe it's a sign of getting older or something. Your temper is less in yeah. dealing with day-to-day -day stuff. Anyway, it's just interesting. It'd be mm -hmm. interesting to see if anybody else has dealt with getting a shorter temper as they get older. Yeah. Because I think older 40 and 50 year old guys you like, see like 50 and 60 old men and I'm like, don't turn into that. Dad, yeah. Because yeah. <sighs> you know how dads are. They have like the shortest tempers ever. Raging Hulk. <laughs> so, but I have basketball tonight. So. He was going to leave me again. Again? Two times a week. <laughs> Whatever. I like, like it when you're here. Room. You're my company. So I'm going to show you guys what I picked up at Fred Meyers. And a lot of people ask me like what store I go to, like what was in the... Uh, vlog the other day and it's Fred Meyers which is a regional store and they just sell like groceries but then they also sell home decor they sell furniture they sell like bath stuff organization stuff makeup toys it's like one of those like full service stores it's one of the best stores ever too I love Fred Meyers but I got Clorox wipes which is not interesting um, some stuff for Travis's stocking which he was freaking unpacking one of the bags and he already saw this. I'm pissed. But oh well. Some tape because I ran out of tape when I was wrapping presents. So I got a ton of tape because tape is like one of those things where you like run out of it and you're like, oh crap, like I need tape. I'm trying the Neutrogena makeup removing towelettes because they're cleansing towelettes. I like makeup remover slash cleansing towelettes. And I was using the Yes to Cucumber ones, which I really liked those, um, but they didn't have them at Fred Meyer, so I'm gonna try these out. So, and I've heard the good things about them. I got some coasters, because we got a new coffee table and I wanted to put some coasters on there. I needed a new eyelash curler, so I got that. The Kiss Ever Lashes Eyelash Glue. And I've never tried this before, but it's clear. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try, because I really hate Ardell eyelash glue, so I thought I'd try something new. I got the Cetaphil body wash for Buggy because she's really sensitive and I've tried other ones but she's still sensitive. I almost feel like it's like um, eczema or something or eczema or whatever it's called 
So I've heard this is actually really, really good for kids with sensitive skin. So I got that for her. And then I got this gorgeous eyeshadow from Essence. Oh my gosh, let's see if it focuses. You can't see it really, but it's like glittery. Look at that, how pretty that is. It's gold and glittery. And I thought this would be so pretty for like a holiday tutorial or like a New Year's tutorial. Oh my gosh, it is probably one of the prettiest eyeshadows I've seen in a while. So I'll be using that in a tutorial soon. And then I got a new foundation that I'm gonna try. This is the Flawless, Flawless Finish Illuminating Foundation by Color Revolution. And they sell this at Fred Meyers. And I don't know if anybody else has ever tried this, but it's a brand that I've never heard of at any other store, just Fred Meyers. And I think it's like a mineral line. So I'm gonna try that out for you guys and let you guys know how I like it. I got Essence of Beauty Concealer. 11th Gorgeous really likes this, and I really like that there's a medium toned one and a light one, so I can cover my circles with that, and then I can highlight with that one, so I think that'll be really good. And then I got a NYX lip gloss. I thought this was pretty. I got this in beige. It's just a really pretty pink color. And then I got some makeup removing rounds, which I think are always really useful. So that is what I got for my fun stuff because I cannot go to Fred Meyer without getting at least one like makeup item or skincare item or hair item. Like it's just impossible for me. It's like a target pretty much. That's kind of what it's like. So anyways, um, that is pretty much it. And I'm going to start dinner soon. We're gonna have burritos tonight and Travis is missing out. But, oh well. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later.